this is Nova Valentis, and today we're running the Guardian Gala VIP site in the wormhole. They only exist in wormhole space or in one pocket in Fountain and one constellation in Curse. We are warping in with our duo Praxis. Uh, they each cost around 300 mil, maybe sub 300 mil. We warped around. We warped in at 50 because that gives you way more time to um, between the between the different waves and more time to decide what you want to shoot first. Uh, actually, let's shoot the Macarial first. It's right next to us. The chips, uh, the fittings we came up with are pretty cheap. If you don't intend to PvP at all, if you only intend to die, then you can um, get rid of the heavy newt and get rid of the warp disruptor and put maybe a target painter in there or something, something that helps you with the application. The heavy drones, I would only use the heavy drones for this because they have the most... Uh, shield buffer the Kaldari navy versions oh actually it's a waste of ammo the tank lasts for around three minutes or so or four minutes <clears throat> with this um, cap battery in uh, so don't perma run it it's just to top off your your shield now Shiro came in as well, so we are free Prexi, but we ran all of the test sites we did previously with two as a duo, and that works just fine and is pretty quick. The Fits might be able to do them solo, but I don't recommend it since I haven't tested it. Uh, the XLASB is for PvP, or sometimes if you are in a bind when shooting the last boss, maybe some... Um, waves are a bit overlapping and there's a lot of battleships then you might get into trouble but other than that it's pretty straightforward they are like the high sex sites just with more enemies and harder enemies they also have tech 2 logi ships here in on Eros and two executors so if that is combined with a bunch of uh, battleships then it's might actually be worth uh, shooting those first. The drones are usually doing kind of their own thing, so I wouldn't worry about those too much. As Ewar, I would suggest Target Painter and Grappler, Web, some stuff like that, and that you <clears throat> that each of you has a different kind. Would probably be the most logical thing to do in a small gang. And also scout the area where, when you're maybe out um, trying to do find the VIP data sites in wormholes, then you can also scout for wormholes that have VIP sites in there, and how to get there via HiSec, for example. And you want to check if somebody's actively living in that wormhole, if there has been. If there's people traveling through or so on. Oh, there's the Oneroys. Well, he's not doing a very effective job. That's also one of the advantages of warping at 50. Because all the Logi ships, they're, they're, half of the time, they're just re-warping. So they're not actively doing a, any wrapping. Oh, there's a Vigilant. Vigilant and... Um, the other Serpentis faction ships, they are really nasty towards your drones because they have a strong web. And they like to... See? They, they really want to go after drones. He's not even shooting us. He's just shooting one of our drones. Alright, time for reloading. The drones are just going to do their own thing over there. Or maybe he's rewarping. Yeah, he's rewarping. Those Yugans sometimes seem broken. They're often at pings at like a thousand. 
Oh yeah, and I also recommend having the events thing up so you don't forget to get your reward, uh, rewards while you're running the site. When there is the boss, the MC, I recommend just um, using your rapid light volley on the boss and that will clear all the rest of the site as well. You might need to overheat. I had one situation where I had to overheat the wrapper plus a blue pill, a standard blue pill, which I don't have now anymore, but now I know that they're, the sites are very survivable with um, with two Prexi and maybe you need to use the XLASB once or twice, but that's fine as well. All right, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, the average income is around 200 mil. So we had one site 50 mil, one site 500 mil, and I think we did four sites and we're around at a billion of income, plus uh, you get some bounties. I don't actually know how long we take to run these sites, but I don't know, 15, 20 minutes around that time? Not really sure. Say 10 minutes more. 10 minutes more? Wow. 10 minutes, 15 max. Uh, I'm watching you guys work. Oh, there's so many on your races now. Good thing there's not a double battleship spawn in the same wave. Or the boss. That would be annoying if we had the boss plus triple O'Neroys on grid. I think they could rep a bunch, but I'm not sure. Um, also, in the, I'm going to link a comment below. A pinned comment that has uh, damage types and so on. And um, the fittings. The small gang fit for the Prexi. They're also a relatively unattractive or at least not a highly attractive target like a single a single T3 cruiser could also do it if you have the correct fitting but you would need to bling it and then everyone really likes to kill it where if you have free rapid heavy um, Prexi uh, they're gonna lose something or they need to bring a really a really fancy fleet to kill you. And I also recommend bringing something cloaky that can hold on to the loot for you. So you don't have the loot in the cargo in case you get a PvP engagement and you die. You don't lose all of your 1 billion in earnings. And after a couple of sites you should have recouped already the price of the ship. Also, one addition, if you find in your loot after you finish the boss, if you find a researcher, keep it. It's worth one billion. Uh, I might make a extra video on how to deal with the loot from this um, event. All right, that's it. If you guys have questions, please put it in the comments in the YouTube video. I'm reading those all the time. Thank you very much and have fun doing the sites.